Okay, in this video, we're just gonna have a look at pagination issues when using Elementor. So what we've got here is just an archive page that I've built myself. So it's just a custom archive page that's been built in Elementor. And what happens is we've got the, you can select different types of pagination in Elementor, but I just wanted the numbered pagination. So we can go page one and two. That looks great, like it's working. And then when you head to page three, we've just got a dead page you know this page can't be found so it's alluding to the fact that there's no posts there so for one you know why would it make the extra page um, the the reason essentially is because what I've got in the posts um, you can see here I've got 15 published posts and this is only showing 12 we've got six per page so you know 12 in total and then when we try to show the last three we've got this page error so first off you might be thinking you know that's probably the query for the um for this which you know sometimes it could be that but my query is a very basic one we come in here's the query for my uh sort of loop if you will and um it's just for all posts all dates just order by the date and you know date descending so a very basic query essentially and we're not ignoring sticky posts or anything like that so everything should get in included and as I say I'm using this pagination so what we can do is if this is happening and you're having this issue um, the, the thing you can do is jump into the reading settings so you want to come down into settings and then reading and then under here what you'll find is by default you've got the um, what it shows at the most which will be 10 and then there's syndication feed as well but the uh, this is the important one here what it shows at the most um, and if you actually change this to six and then hit save changes what you'll find is now if we refresh the page we can now go to page three and then we've got all our posts in there so essentially what we need to do is change the WordPress setting to make the pagination work and the thing is what you might find is um, when you do this you set it up and you just do it as as normal so you know you can see this is working because if we change it back to there refresh and we go to page three you can see the page is broken again so um, what you might find when you do it in Elementor is that you might um, just do it with 10 anyway you know your query might just be to it, it's up here in the layout it's not in the query so the query essentially brings everything back and then in the layout you're telling Elemental how many to show so we've got three columns one two three and we want to show six posts per page so you know you can see there that it is doing that we've got um, three columns two rows so six posts in total and you know that's the reason why because I'm using the cards that's why I don't really want to show ten because then you end up with your kind of um, you'll end up with an orphan post at the bottom um, and essentially this might not work anyway you know you start doing this and it it may not even um, show the correct amount depending on how what your wordpress settings are but because um, by default they're 10 what should happen is it should come up with the with the correct amount so we'll change the pagination here because there's only two pages now and you can see we've got 10 there but like I say you get this orphan article at the bottom so that's why I, I don't like to use that but you can see that that does actually work so it, it's one of those things where you you've just got to realize that the um, the WordPress settings actually could be interfering with the um, with the settings in Elementor so just kind of bear that in mind when you're working with it because it's one of those things that can drive you a bit mad because you can be just be looking around in Elementor trying to work out what's going on with the query in your display when actually it's just a completely different setting within WordPress. So um, yeah, hopefully that's helped. If it has, give the video a like. If you wanna see more WordPress tutorials, check out the playlist on this channel and please subscribe.